You know, you may spend all morning long running from overdose to overdose. It's constant now. You know, I didn't care who I stole from. I didn't care what I had to do. I was going to do it to get that next fix. We've seen a crisis in the use and abuse of heroin like we've never seen before in my entire career. I started shooting up every day, like 15 times a day if I could. When you're running hard like that for so long, you become numb to, to the consequences and repercussion of your actions. You, you don't even realize what you've done or who you've hurt. The next morning, when I went to wake her up, I found her in her bed. It's crazy. I, I just, I've never seen anything like it. I was so consumed by using. It, it took over everything, it controlled everything. I thought it was my fault sometimes. Because <laughs> I would see her just lay there and think that I was being too harsh or something. There are not enough programs to support the problem right now. There is a huge wait list. And that person in waiting for a detox bed has a very good chance that they are going to die. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna wallow in my addiction and, and go back to what I was doing? Or am I gonna call somebody and get the help that I need? And not every story has to end like ours did. There's two ways to deal with it. You either recover or you die. There, there's no in between here. If you kill off a customer or two, that means you've got the good stuff and you attract customers. There's no class of people, no race of people that have been exempt from this, none.